trick to find charge on polyatomic ions. In this lecture, I will teach you two tricks to find charge on polyatomic ions. One is the most famous trick which some people are not completely understanding, while the second one is my personal trick. This video contains two chapters of two tricks. So watch this lecture till the end if you want to master these tricks. Firstly, note it down this periodic table. We can see that hydrogen is in first A group, beryllium is in second A group. These are all sub or B groups of third group like 1B, 2B, 3B etc. Boron is in 3A group, carbon is in 4A group and so on. Hence remember these group numbers which we will use in this lecture. Now let me teach you the famous trick to find charge on polyatomic ions. In this trick, the polyatomic ions should contain only two types of atoms. For example, consider these ions. They all contain two types of atoms. For instance, sulfate ion contains sulfur and oxygen. Now the trick to find charge on polyatomic ion is, if the group number is even and odd, the charge will be negative 1. If the group number is even and even, the charge will be negative 2. And if the group number is odd and odd, the charge will be positive 1. For example, in case of sulphate, sulphur is in the 6th group and oxygen is also in the 6th group. These both numbers are even, according to the given rule, the charge will be negative 2. Hence the charge on sulphate ion is negative 2. Secondly, in case of sulphite ion, the group number of sulphur is 6, the group number of oxygen is 6. Both are even numbers, the charge must be negative 2. Hence the charge on sulphite ion is negative 2. Here, let me teach you one bonus trick. Remember that 8 has one more oxygen than 8. Let me repeat it. 8 has one more oxygen than 8. Like sulphate ion has one more oxygen than sulphite ion. Thirdly, in case of nitrate ion, the group number of nitrogen is 5th and that of oxygen is 6th. 5 is an odd number and 6 is an even number. According to the given rule, if one is even and another is odd, the charge must be negative 1. Hence, the charge on nitrate ion must be negative 1. Similarly, nitrite ion contains the same atoms like nitrogen and oxygen. Hence, the charge on nitrite ion is also negative 1. Fourthly, in case of chlorate ion, the group of chlorine is 7 and that of oxygen is 6. We know that 7 is an odd number and 6 is an even number. According to the given rule, the charge must be negative 1. Hence, the charge on chlorate ion is negative 1. Similarly, chloride ion contains the same atoms like chlorine and oxygen. Hence, the charge on chloride ion is also negative 1. Fifthly, in case of bromate ion, Bromine is present in the 7th group and oxygen is present in the 6th group. 7 is an odd number and 6 is an even number. The charge must be negative 1. Hence, the charge on bromate ion is negative 1. Similarly, the bromite ion contains same atoms like bromine and oxygen. Hence, the charge on bromite ion is also negative 1. So, note it down all these examples. Secondly, consider these difficult polyatomic ions. In case of cyanide ion, we know that carbon is in the fourth group and nitrogen is in the fifth group. Four is an even number and five is an odd number. According to the rule, the charge must be negative one. Hence, the charge on cyanide ion is negative one. Secondly, in case of chromate ion, the element Chromium is in the 6th B group, while oxygen is in the 6th A group. Both the numbers are even, the charge must be negative 2. Hence, the charge on chromate ion is negative 2. Similarly, the dichromate ion contains the same atoms, chromium and oxygen. Hence, the charge on dichromate ion is also negative 2. 
Thirdly, in case of permanganate ion, the group number of manganese is 7b and that of oxygen is 6. 7 is in odd number and 6 is in even number. Hence, the charge on permanganate ion is negative 1. In case of carbonate ion, the carbon is in the fourth group and oxygen is in the sixth group. Both the numbers are even, hence the charge on carbonate ion is negative 2. Similarly, oxalate ion contains carbon and oxygen atoms. Hence, the charge on oxalate ion is also negative 2. Lastly, pause the video and try to find the charge on ammonium ion. Well, we know that nitrogen is in the fifth group while hydrogen is in the first group. Five is an odd number and one is also an odd number. According to the given rule, the charge should be positive one. Hence, the charge on ammonium ion is positive one. Remember that in case of phosphate ion and phosphite ion, we cannot use these rules. They both are exception cases and they each have negative 3 charge. Thus note down all these important examples. Now let me teach you my personal trick to find charge on polyatomic ions when there are three different type of atoms. For example, consider these polyatomic ions which contain three types of atoms. In case of hydrogen sulfate or bisulfate, we can see that it contains sulfate ion SO4. We have already learned that sulfate has negative 2 charge. Secondly, it contains this hydrogen. We know that hydrogen ion has positive 1 charge. Now positive 1, negative 2 is equal to negative 1. Hence the charge on hydrogen sulfate or bisulfate is negative 1. Similarly, in case of hydrogen sulfite, the charge on sulfite SO3 is negative 2 and that on hydrogen is positive 1. Now positive 1, negative 2 is equal to negative 1. Hence the charge on hydrogen sulfide is negative 1. Thirdly, in case of hydrogen phosphate, we know that phosphate has negative 3 charge and hydrogen has positive 1 charge. Positive 1, negative 3 is equal to negative 2. Hence hydrogen phosphate has negative 2 charge. In case of dihydrogen phosphate, this phosphate has negative 3 charge. Two hydrogen ions have positive 2 charge. Now positive 2, negative 3 is equal to negative 1. Hence dihydrogen phosphate has negative 2 charge. Similarly, hydrogen phosphate has negative 2 charge and dihydrogen phosphate has negative 1 charge. Finally, carbonate ion has negative 2 charge and hydrogen has positive 1 charge. Positive 1, negative 2 is equal to negative 1. Hence, the charge on hydrogen carbonate is negative 1. Therefore, using these tricks, we can easily find charge on polyatomic ions.